Jesus back, 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 back again, 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 Reggie's back. Tell a friend. Welcome back everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel and today it's been a while. It's been a while. It's the 31st of January 2020, uh, meaning it's been about 626 days to be precise since I last visited the YouTube channel and I think you're probably sat there thinking what the hell has been going on, where the hell have I been? And um, yeah, I thought I'd make you a video just to, just to kind of clarify that. Well, pretty much up here, he's gone a little grayer. Down here, a little bit hairier. And the sausage has grown. Snoozy. So before we go into the video, all I want to do is I'm on like 9.04 thousand subscribers right now. It's been about an eight year progress to try and get to 10,000. So I'd highly appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video because who doesn't like a comeback? And comment below any questions, any curiosities, anything about Reggie being a sausage dog at three foot long and two inches high, please let me know. The main reasons for making this video today is because I have been questioned by a few people, which is really, really nice, by the way. Thank you, whoever messaged about bringing the YouTube channel back and making some more videos. For me, the YouTube, I've done it for, Christ, a good portion of my life, to be totally honest, from when I was like 18 up until 24. Um, and it was just doing it for a bit of fun, really. Obviously, you then get a little bit absorbed into it, uh, too much, you got kind of get lost in the way of it all. And to be honest, for me, having a bit of a break done me well mentally. It really, really did do me well. So coming back, I want to do it for the enjoyment. I want to go back to the reason why I started, and that was to enjoy myself, have a bit of fun. Hopefully, you guys have a bit of fun watching whatever the hell I do, and try and take some tips, I suppose, along the way because that is realistically uh, what YouTube is made for. So I'm going to take you into today. First things first. If you haven't seen my gym already, uh, where we started in, uh, I suppose, a little unit uh, before when I started all my personal training and stuff, we've now expanded onto uh, a bigger unit and a bigger premises where Emma's salon is now conjoined with that. So we've managed to bring both businesses together, uh, which is great. It means that we're in the same place. Uh, love it. <laughs> love it. Look. means it has been a great progress over the past sort of year or two. So I kind of want to show you that just so you get an idea of what's been going on. If you haven't followed my Instagram already, uh, I'd say check that out as well because I put up reasonable updates on there of different things. So I want to show you guys that and then kind of walk you through a little bit of a timeline of uh, what's been going on because it has been crazy. But basically I'm in another job role which is in the world of finance, which is slightly different. I still own the gym, still manage the gym and I've got two great personal trainers in there doing the, the training obviously of all the clients, uh, keeping an eye on it and making sure it's running smoothly. For me then, I'm working at home, technically, um, in the gym, kind of, on the road, everywhere, busy man, for a company uh, called Justify Solutions. Great, great company, and we work uh, with Vitality. You've probably heard of them. Sausage dog thing is just ironic. If you haven't heard of them, you'll go check them out and you'll kind of understand what I'm on about. As two different job roles. So I've basically got one job role where I advise people on their insurance needs, protection needs, make sure they're safe, make sure their family's safe uh, for various different things, including life, serious illness, income protection, private medical protection, and business protection. Of which, I know not everyone thinks, oh, I'm gonna jump to go talk about that conversation, but it is very important and I do love my job because I'm helping people and I can make a living from it, and it makes it into the fitness world, which brings me on to my other job role. So, my other job role within this company, working with Vitality, is as a fitness network director. I am building a network of gyms, fitness professionals, fitness businesses throughout the UK, where you can help your clients as well. And the idea behind it is you are down as a referral base of passing people onto us, so we can help your clients, make sure they get the best advice, make sure we can give them the best product possible and make sure it's suited to them while, this is the best part, you make money on giving us people to talk to. Win-win, 
Couldn't make it any clearer. It's great. So as you can probably tell, it is very exciting for me right now. There's a lot going on. I've kind of ended up in a position that I didn't even know would be possible. But for now, you're getting used to me being back. I get talk for Britain for a long time. We're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go show you around. I'm gonna go have a little workout. Don't even know what to do today. Might do legs, feeling it. And then go over this little timeline of my life, which I've been on about. So until then, sit back, relax, take some tips, enjoy the vlog, and I shall speak to you very soon. And we're back into the office. You haven't seen this for a while. And there has been a new addition, I can say. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen I went to LA, which was absolutely great, by the way. So we welcome in the Dodgers foam finger to the office. So first things first, we're gonna go into the little timeline of my life over the past year. I did have to write down uh, a list, because uh, there was a lot. While that's happening, please check out the video that is going on as well, which is showing you the new gym. You'll be able to see there's a lot of new kit in comparison to the old place. It is a lot bigger. We've rebranded as well with SG. Obviously the meaning behind Sui Generis is unique. And looking at the gym, that's the way I've tried to design it, by keeping it very, I suppose, exclusive. It's kind of the idea, very private, so people can feel comfortable and feel confident where they want to train. Anyone who knows me from the past, obviously being massively overweight, going into a gym was not appealing to me whatsoever. And that is something that I've brought with me today uh, to bring into Sui Generis, and that's the way uh, we're gonna to wanna to keep it as well. But the importance of this video is obviously going over what the hell has been happening in my life. And um, to be honest, it, it's not been easy, it has been crazy. There's been highs, there's been lows, there's been challenges, and all kinds of changes. So looking all the way back to my last video, that was Body Power in 2018, it was, with Muscle Food. So after that weekend, I come away thinking, you know, uh, the YouTube stuff could be absolutely great, but to be honest, there was a lot going on, and I had to make a sacrifice to see where I get to today. Uh, the sacrifice I had to take was obviously coming away from the YouTube bits, I just physically didn't have time. There was so much that I had to try and square away to um, set up the best future for me, Emma, and obviously Reggie. Which then takes me on to point number two. Now obviously all hard work has to come with the hard play as well. So what we've done in June 2018, I kind of shredded all those protein bars off and sausage rolls that Muscle Food were given out because we were going to Mexico to celebrate Emma's birthday. We went there with a couple of mates, uh, probably the best, one of the best holidays of my life, and went to Coco Bongo, partied out, ate loads of stuff, uh, lived up on the beaches, seen a whale shark, done literally anything you could imagine. We went absolutely crazy. And then I come back and I was just highly like gutted that we had to be back away from the sun. From that, a couple of months of hard work was in place. I was smashing out my personal training, clients, doing what I had to do to get obviously to make the gym a success, etc, etc. Which then brought me back to another hard play. I like hard play, you'll get this. September 2018, me and Emma decided we wanted to go somewhere that we've uh, kind of wanted to go for a long time, which was Dubai. Absolute incredible place. We soaked up some sun. Uh, we went on a like a trip of some sort around Dubai, swam with jellyfish, which is a bit different. I don't know if I'd recommend that. Top tip for anyone out there, you'll get the gist of this. The, um, in a couple, uh, like me and Emma, we're both very hard working. We commit a lot of our time to work. Um, and sometimes it's it's hard to show that sort of appreciation every day of every day of the week to each other. So to get away and have times like that as a couple um, is is amazing. In November 2018, you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram, I then went into the job role of recruitment, where I joined Ash, my cousin Ash, aka Dodsborough, aka A of the AJS FedEx. You may remember that from a long time ago. Joined him with his little venture. He's done really, really well in recruitment, uh, done a very good success of it, and he's still in it today. He's absolutely loving it. Uh, and I joined him, it was absolutely great. Uh, did enjoy the experience. It got me into the world of sales, I suppose is what you'll call it. That kind of role where it was very sort of high tempo, it was commission-based role, um, you know, the work you put in, you really got out of it. And that was that was kind of where I see myself going. And lo and behold, when that happened, about a month later, I got approached with the opportunity for a larger unit, which you'll be seeing in the video. And as you can imagine, traveling about an hour to work, work nine hours, travel another hour back, to then get back onto a computer to work for about another four hours to make sure that the gym was running okay, to then think, I wanna move the gym and open in a whole new unit. 
while doing all that is stupid. But we did it anyway. So the unit we got offered was in a place where Emma's salon was at, so it made sense to think, right, can we make this work? We're bringing them both together. So obviously a gym and a beauty salon, they do work together quite well. So we worked with that and said, right, we're gonna do this, we're gonna make this happen. It was a big risk. Uh, obviously for me it was a massive risk because I was in a job uh, moving a gym where I had personal trainers in there and I had to see if you know they were happy to go, if, had, if the clients were happy to move, etc, etc. Because it wasn't all then on me basically, which was a scary thought. But I seen the future of the business had to lay with that move um, and thankfully to this day it has paid off. But as you can imagine, that's where the grey hairs come from, uh, even more grey hairs come from, because it was just a burden of stress. Uh, probably the worst couple of months of my life, uh, or up there anyway, I reckon probably the closest I come to a breakdown, to be totally honest. Um, put a lot of strain on, obviously, me and Emma as well. But, like everyone says, you know, the, the tough stuff is to be successful and have the best out of things, it's never going to be easy. Very stressful, very proud moment, and I could talk about that for a long time. Uh, to be totally honest, and I'm sure you'll see this in future videos, uh, I will come on to talk about it a little bit more. But to go on into the next step, which was then a bit more of an adventure again, was the next break, which basically took us out to Dubai again for a few more nights, where I had one too many drinks uh, an SDK brunch. If you're having Dubai, go to an SDK brunch. And then we come back, we booked our wedding venue, which obviously, same again, very exciting. We're not like mega wedding -y people, I suppose. I'm probably going to be the most useless groom around, and Em isn't like a massive bridezilla. We just kind of cracked on with it. We want it to be nice, uh, we want it to be a great experience for everyone that's coming, um, and obviously, we're going to seal the deal by putting a ring on each other. I've got to mention, Em did buy me an incredible birthday present back in March, which was flights to LA. We went to LA, hence the phone finger behind me, and just had the most incredible time for a couple of weeks. I ain't even going to go into too much depth of detail of that, because it was just way too much that was going on. It was baseball games, it was Universal Studios, it was Las Vegas, it was Venice Beach, it was everything you could think of in that area. It was insane. One thing I would like to point out about that as well, all these holidays that I've been going on about, it's not going to be here saying, oh my god, you know, I'm absolutely bald and out going to all these incredible places. For me, uh, as a person, I do like to make sure that I make the most of experiences. If I have the opportunity to do it, I'm going to do it and make sure that I do. I would highly recommend, uh, if you can, uh, obviously, you know, if you're fortunate enough to be in a position that you can do it, is to do it and just enjoy yourself uh, while you've got the chance. As for me, like I said, I don't want to get down the line and then have regrets over me. So there will be a few more holidays in there, I'm sure. Honeymoon, we're going to think of something mad, which will be quite interesting. Might even get a video. Which then kind of brings me to where I am today. So we come back from LA, I then had the opportunity with Just Advice Solutions, which is the job that brought me in to now. It's something that I do really love and I can see this just being my main future now. And I think that's why I wanted to get the YouTube stuff uh, back in place. I feel like I'm in a place where I'm right, I'm, I'm good. I ain't gonna say comfortable, I'm never comfortable. I don't like to be comfortable. Comfortable's too easy. You don't see progression with comfortable. But I feel like I'm in a place that I will have time now to uh, be able to make some videos, have a bit of fun with it, but actually, you know, really, really hit my work hard as well. Part of that does bring me into uh, moving forward. I want to see uh, a lot more networking. That's basically what I want to do. Opening a gym uh, a couple of years ago, I have seen loads of gyms open uh, throughout the UK, and I'm really intrigued to see how people have dealt with that, how they've like found the whole experience. Like I said at the beginning, the part of my job now is the network with people, so I would love to be able to go meet different gym owners, different uh, you know business heads that have opened gyms, personal training and stuff. And I feel like that can make some really good videos. With that networking piece, I'd love to try out all these different workouts that people do. Uh, nowadays, obviously, bodybuilder I've always sort of kind of been in anyway. Um, the functional training, the CrossFit-y stuff, uh, the power lifting, if I can just try it, uh, like I said, I like to try things and see what it's like. And in the midst of that, have a bit of fun with doing challenge videos and traveling videos and food videos. But for now guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna say thank you for watching the video. It's an overload of information, I'm not gonna lie, but it is hard to squeeze two years into a 10 minute clip. So hopefully that kind of clarifies where I'm at now. Um, I'm gonna say big one I'd like to do, maybe like a Q&A, to do a Q&A video. So if you've got any questions, chuck them below, because uh, I would like to see people's thoughts, you know, is it good for me to be back? Is it not? Should I wait another two years to make a video? And then don't forget to uh, obviously like the video if you have, and then subscribe below um, as well, because uh, like I said, 
if we can get to that 10k, it'll be quite cool. Uh, that'll probably make me happy, and I might do another 10,000 calorie challenge because the last one had a lot of views, but I don't know if it really, really done that well because apparently we didn't do the right thing by having a milkshake. Thanks again, guys. Take it steady, and I'll catch up with you soon for another video. It won't be two years this time, I promise.